What is up, YouTube? Bunny Phones here with a brand new video, and we are back in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2. And in today's video, we are going to be working on this tiny house. It's a one plot build, as you can see. And I've been doing a series on it. I have to fix this wood back here. I had to move it out of the way so I could spawn in a car. But. We've been working on this for quite some time, and we are nearing the end of this project. So this isn't going to be the last one plot build we're going to be doing on this channel, because I have plans for our... I think the next build is going to be a store, and then we're going to do like a modern home, because I love modern homes. I just find it much easier than these types of homes, because this is a bit of a challenge for me, because it's not something I'm really used to. But I think it's turning out nicely, um, especially this side looks really nice. This side's a bit iffy, uh, but I've been excited to get back to this project so without further ado we're going to go ahead and begin and we're just going to go over what we're going to be trying to accomplish in today's video so i don't remember what we did last video but what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to finish this roof up here there's a bit of a hole here and then we're going to have to get a bunch of tiny blueprints on this side so we can finish like i think it's called the eve of the roof i don't know what it's called but we need to finish this side of the house first off and then once we get that done we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to get all of these walls filled in with either some window frames or just walls in general. And then if we head up here, I want to begin making this roof just look or the ceiling look a bit nicer. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. We are in a server with a few fans. We have Dan TDM. Uh, we have uh, Fisser VV and then we have Yorn and Nat or yeah, Nat Dog, I think. And that's it. So we're going to go ahead. And if you ever want to be in a video uh, in Lumber Tycoon 2, join my Discord server, uh, discord.gg slash all those weird numbers, because we don't have the special URL. Link to it in the description below. But that's where I do announce when I am recording. But let's go ahead and get started. We're going to get out a bunch of these one over two by one wedges just because i mean we're going to use a whole bunch of these but it is needed for the build we're going to put four along that side of the roof like so rotate and then one actually nope destroy that go ahead and get three more placed down like so there we go and now we're going to go ahead flip them upside down like so and then we have to place them under oh, yeah yeah i can't place them in the right place i'll delete that one later but you want to place them underneath like this that way it's nice looking, it's not all jagged. And then we're going to rotate and then put one here. We're going to put one on the bottom as well, like so. And then we'll fill these in with some walnut wood, which you can get from the or the safari biome, which is across the bridge. Let's go ahead and get uh, two more of these wedges down, like so. And then we're going to rotate and place. There we go. And then let's delete this accidental one, like so. And there are a few wedges we have to put in here. We're going to use some one over two wedges, but these don't actually fit. You have to do the blueprint glitch where you make the blueprints invisible. That way you can place them inside of each other. So that's what I'll probably do off camera. Um, I've demonstrated that glitch plenty of times in previous videos. Uh, but this side, we already got all of these blueprints placed down. They just need to be filled in. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to fill these in, and then we're going to fill in this gap up here. And now we have all of these blueprints filled in, and there is one change I'm going to make to the structure of the house, which I'll talk about in just a moment. But before I do go on with any more blueprints, I just want to correct myself. So I looked up some terms for roofs. So it turns out, if we look over here, this is a better example. Um, okay, yeah, let's look here. So this is called the gable wall. I think that's how you pronounce it, G-A-B-L-E. So that's the gable wall. And then you have the um, Eve, which is actually this right here. So I, I wanted to look that up because I don't want to keep repeating the wrong things. And then up here is the ridge, which is like the peak of the roof. So those are some roofing terms. Good to know stuff. But one change we are going to make is we're going to fix this window here because it does. It's a bit weird how it sticks out. And if you look from this side of the house, it is a bit uneven. So we're going to be correcting that really quickly by destruction. Yippee. So we're just going to destroy a bunch of these blueprints. Um, I'll fix it. We'll, we'll fill it in later. Um, and we do have the power to build with these. So it's not too difficult to replace these all, all these blueprints that we're destroying. And this just... Actually, I'll keep this one though. Um, but we're just going to get rid of all these blueprints here. Uh, and then we're going to actually... Uh, let's see. I guess I'll put this one like this. On. There we go. Okay. And we're going to move this back just a tad bit, I believe. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think so. So now we have cleared out a majority of these blueprints here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off by placing down an 8x4 up here. And there we go. Just face planted ourselves. There we go. And let's hop back up. And yes, I do have a little bit of, or a few balls stored up there. They're actually really good numbers. So 
I wanted to keep them safe by storing them there. But we're going to put this here like so. There we go. It's lined up. And then we're going to have to destroy this and this. You don't necessarily have to destroy these. You can put them aside because we could use them later on when we're fixing this part of the house. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we'll just get rid of them just because it's easy for me to replace. I'll get rid of that. There we go. And now let's get down an 8x2. So let's get this and put this right here. Like so. Oh, not like that. I, no, stop placing. Stop placing, please. There we go. Okay, let's destroy all those. And we're going to put this one right here. Like that. There we go. And now we're going to get rid of this post. I'm going to get rid of this floor. Okay, it's looking a bit better now. And what we're going for in general is just like a smooth like wall here. I don't want it sticking out at all. So we're going to do it like that. And then we're going to get down. I think we'll just get down a another 8x2. We'll put this one right here. Like that. There we go. And we want to make sure that it's wide enough for the doorway. So we're going to go like this. And then we're going to get down two posts. That way it's not anything too weird looking. Because we don't have... Because doors are four studs wide, and if we didn't put those posts there, it'd be five studs, and that doesn't really work in Lumber Tycoon 2. But now that we have it like that, let's get down a 8x2. I assume it's going to fit up here. So let's get this down like so. There we go. Okay. And now that we have it like so, we could actually... I think I'll just move this over one stud like that, just to save some blueprints. And then these I'm going to get out of the way so we don't accidentally fill in anything like that there we go okay so we have those down but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get down a let's get down a four by two we'll put this and we'll hold up we'll hold off on it for just a moment but we're gonna get down this right here um actually instead hold on we're gonna destroy this and we're gonna get down this weird blueprint i don't know how to describe it but it's like a corner blueprint corner wall whatever you want to call it we're gonna put that there like so and we're going to see, can we fit this 8x2 down in the middle? Okay, we can't. We're going to put this right here like that. Oh, you're going to accidentally fill... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're going to accidentally fill in the blueprint. So, I mean... Nah. Okay, I'll just, I'll just set this over there. Okay, and we're going to get rid of this. Like that. There we go. And we're going to get rid of this. Actually, I could have kept that. So it's like that. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to get down a four by two up here. And then we're going to get down. I think we're going to get an eight by. Let's see. Actually, we're going to get some posts down. We're going to put one post up here like this. There we go. Should look like that. And then we're going to get. Let's see. We'll get down another eight by two because we're going to make it a little window here. Actually, we could make a big... Oh, what if we made a big window here? I think that'd look pretty cool. Uh, we, I guess we'll go with the big window. Um, I think that'd be, be a bit better than just having a flat, plain wall. So we'll put it like uh, a 2x2 two two in there, like so. And then up here, thank you for these glass panes. We're going to destroy this post. And let's see, can we fit this 8x4 up here? Ooh, that's great. Perfectly fits. And now let's go ahead and we're going to get some 8x2s down. We're putting down a lot of 8x2s, I keep saying that. Uh, but we're going to get one down like so. And then we're going to get down two small floors or two 2x2s. Two so we're going to place one there like that. Rotate and then slide one in like so. And now uh, we do have a few more things we have to fill in really quickly just so it's symmetrical on both sides. We're going to get this post down like so. And there should only be this like two stud gap here which you can fill in with some tiny floors. So we'll place one like that and one like that and voila. So next up, we have to fill all of this in with some oak wood. And we have plenty of oak wood, as you can see. It's just strewn about. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll get to chopping. And I'll meet you guys back here once everything is filled in. I'm also going to explain this power we have, which is called the power to build with ease, which allows you to fill blueprints with super tiny pieces of wood. It costs two, costs nine million or ten million nine thousand dollars. You can purchase it from the strange man or you can buy the Robux game pass, but it just lets you fill in any blueprint in the game with really tiny pieces of wood. My pieces of wood are 1.2 by 1.2 studs and they just have to be one by one by one studs to at least fill in a blueprint. If they're anything smaller, then sadly it won't work. You'll just have to get a bit of a larger piece but i have to explain that every video because people are always asking in the comment section how do i do this and people still ask even though i explain it literally every video so hopefully that uh makes sense if not there's plenty of videos you can search for on youtube but 
we have two more blueprints to fill in and then we can move on to the next thing which i didn't really th uh think of until i started recording this video but is making this big window it's not gonna we're gonna build a window frame first but i think this is so awesome like how awesome is it to like have a massive window here i don't know let me know your comments or your thoughts in the comment section below it's always interesting to see what other people think but what i believe we're gonna do we have to fix this little area here but we can do that later what we're gonna do uh oh I think he bought the one by or one by one frames or something. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get. I, I, oh, I do want to give a shout out to Yorn. He got me so many of these window frames. And then we also have uh, Fisser VV who's giving me wood. Awesome of you guys. I really appreciate it. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to. I think we'll just. Instead of working on this window, I want to get the gable wall finished right now. And then we'll, we might do the windows in the next video because I want to keep, uh, keep this video around 20 minutes long just so it's not too long. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to hop down here like so. And we're going to try to figure out what blueprints fit in here. This part of the build is a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. You got to figure out what fits. We're going to start off with a 4x2. And let's see where this will fit. It's also a bit difficult uh, with the camera angle, but we'll slide in one up there. Like, oh, okay, we're going to destroy this. I apologize. We're going to get down a post. It's not going to take too many blueprints. We're going to put this post at the very top like that. And then we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a 4x2, or an 8x2, excuse me. And we're going to slide this in right here like so. Give me a moment. There we go. And now we just have two little gaps to fill in. And I believe over here, oh, I wonder if, did we use, oh, we might have used wedges over here. Well, that's awesome. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to use wedges, uh, two, one by two by, or one over two by one wedges. So we're going to go ahead and rotate. And then we're going to slide this one in like so. There we go. And then we're going to do the same on this side like that. There we go. And there's only one, two, three, four blueprints we have to fill in. And I call that mighty impressive because it could have used a lot more blueprints, but we designed it right. So it's not, ugh, we slipped, but we designed it the right way. So it's not going to use up too many pieces of wood, especially for those who don't have the power. But we're going to go ahead. We're just going to chop these pieces of wood, fill it in. Hopefully we don't fall over the edge again because we will have to build a railing here eventually just for safety. Uh, but we're going to jump us in maybe i think we're slightly too far away there we go and we'll just use this last piece of wood to fill this one in in the corner and voila if we look from out here this part of the house is finished well the gable is finished so now we have to fill in we're going to just talk about a few things we have to finish uh we have to finish this wall here we uh which we'll have to i think i don't know we can easily do that right now knock that out and then we have this little area which we met um had to remove some blueprints we'll fix that and then we're gonna go ahead and frame this window here and then eventually uh if we have time we can fill in these glass pane windows and then maybe in the next video we'll get to this part of the house where we have to fill in these walls but this is outstanding progress i'm really excited about it so next up we're gonna go ahead and i don't think a post is gonna fit here so we'll have to do three um three tiny floors like this not my favorite to use all these tiny blueprints but it has to fit so we'll go ahead and actually you know what destroy 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 want to save some time instead of placing down all those blueprints just place down a post here because we already had a bunch of tiny floors and we're gonna get actually we'll place uh one more down really quickly one more tiny floor right here uh just to fill in that gap like so and then we're going to go ahead and fill in these two blueprints with some oak wood so let's go ahead chop and fill and don't even have to chop this and fill there we go and now we just have to place two tiny floors for the elm wood which is the floor for the second floor and it's also the ceiling for the first floor so we have that filled in and let's get some elm wood which we have a few pieces left we might have to actually toss this into the sawmill really quickly because it is um too big to chop let's go ahead and do it like that there we go 1.2 by 1.2 and now we have to wait but while we're waiting for that to sawmill we're going to go ahead and figure out this window we're going to have a bit of like a blueprint going down the middle i believe it's not necessary but i think we're going to use posts or something but we're going to go ahead and measure just to see how big this is okay that yeah that's really convenient um i wonder if well i think what we can do is going to be really awesome uh two eight by eight there we go 
So we're going to, I think Yorn is going to pick us some window frames. We're going to put two eight by eight frames here. And what we're going to do then is we're going to use some wedges and we're going to make it so that's like a bit of a curved window or as a curved frame, at least. And I think that'd look a bit beautiful for this build. And I think we're going to do that blueprint glitch too. We're going to have uh, one over two by one wedge here. And then we're also going to place another wedge inside of it like so. This is just an example. And so the window corners are going to look like this. And I think that it's going to look awesome. So we're going we're to do it like that. But sadly, um, I don't think we're going to get that far in today's video. We might get the windows down, but just not the frame finished. But what now that we have this uh, wood here, let's go ahead and chop and fill in these two blueprints here. And then we're going to move on to this area here because we are nearing the completion of this build. I'm so excited. But let's go ahead and we're going to fill in this last blueprint like that. There we go. And now the floor is complete and this wall is nearing completion. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get out a four by two and we're going to position it like so. I believe. Okay. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about this, but I believe what we can do is maybe we can fit in a small floor here. Uh, no, it's not going to happen. Okay. I mean, we can always just do a bunch of tiny floors for now. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. We're going to, oh, I saw him went flying. We're going to go ahead and get down. A bit difficult to do this camera angle correct, but we're going to see. Can we fit this in? There we go. We're going to get down three tiny floors. Or we could, actually, hold on. Delete this. Delete this. And delete this. Hold on. So what we're going to do, save some time and some blueprint and some wood. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use some wedges. So we're going to rotate this. It's a bit difficult to see how it's positioned. Hold on. There we go. Nope, not. Yeah, yeah. I can't really see because it's... There, there's a lot of things that need fixing in this game. Like, this is flashing and it's really annoying. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this place down here like that. There we go. And then we're going to go up two studs. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. It's really difficult to get, the, uh, to get this correct camera angle. But we're going to go like that. And then finally, we have to place one more. Is this going to be a good camera angle? I think so. There we go. We got that place down. And now what we're going to do, we're going to get a post down. Actually, um, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to get a post down. We're going to put it right here. And this is going to be like a bit of a tip on how to save wood. Because it doesn't really matter at this point. But still, uh, we're going to use a 2x2. Two two, and we're going to slide it in so it's still flush with the rest of the blueprints. But on the other side, it's actually sticking out by one stud. But that's actually not going to really mean anything. Because it's going to be uh, hidden by the roof and the ceiling inside the house. So it doesn't really matter. So we're going to actually... Ah, come on. Bit of lag. Um... Wait for this to place. There we go. We're going to destroy this. And we're going to get down a wedge. I don't actually... Eh. I was going to do a 1 over 3 by wedge and have it so it would be flush with the wall. But we don't really have that blueprint. And I'm not going to go get it right now. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put down a wall in there like that. A 2 by 2 And then we're going to slide this in like so. And voila. And now it's time to fill in blueprints. So we went ahead, filled in all these blueprints, and Yorn came back... I mean, that's funny with his username, Yorn back. But Yorn came back with some windows and he wants $14.99 for the delivery. So let's go ahead and send $1,499 because you can't have any decimals in Lumber Tycoon 2. But we're going to get these windows installed like so. And I feel as if there was a lighting update to Lumber Tycoon 2 because these windows are a bit, I don't know, a bit more blue, I'd say. A bit more reflective. And then they also did the lighting update, I believe, and they changed it. So, like, these, these black textures have, like, an ominous glow. Well, not ominous, but just a glow. And then even if you look, I believe there is one other thing I was looking at. You have the axe there. I believe it was up here. Oh, yeah, the doorknobs. Like, the doorknobs also have a little glow. So, I find that a bit strange, but it's interesting, to say the least. But now, we have a few more things to scratch off our list really quickly just to get done with this house even faster. Well, that doesn't really make sense, but we have a few things I want to do before we do end today's video, which is finishing this roof up here like that. And this is a bit plain here. I don't know what I would do, though. I think it's fine for now. I'm not really going to bother with it because, I mean, we just made a huge, a whole bunch of changes. I don't think more need to be made right now. But we're going to just fill in these blueprints with two pieces of wood. Pretty simple and straightforward. And I think this piece might be too small, but let's go ahead and just not fall off the roof and break our legs. But let's fill in the blueprint. Maybe we can actually sneak it through the window. Ah, too small. Oh, well, let's get one more piece of wood. 
I think this should be the right size. I'll just throw that piece of wood off the roof like this. Yike. Like that. Voila. And now the roof is complete 100% for this build. Really impressive. And we also have this beautiful window here. I wonder if I should even put a frame in. Because like with these windows up here and down here, they have an Elmwood frame. And just let me know in the comment section, should I put in a frame with a bunch of posts? I, I wonder how it would look. A chimney. Yeah, a chimney would be cool. I don't know where we would fit that though. Because if we had a chimney, I'd want to connect it to a fireplace. But I don't know how that would work. But that is it for today. Oh, we could put like a chimney in over here somewhere. I don't know. But that is it for today's video, everyone. If you did enjoy it, consider pressing the like button or subscribing. We made a huge amount of progress in today's video. And I do apologize. It's been a while since we've done a build on this house. But it is really coming together. If we just do a bit of a walk around, as you can see, big progress. Uh, some changes or things I want to talk about before we do end this build are like changes or things that will be coming up in upcoming videos. For starters, I do want to do something to spice up the back of the house by maybe like adding a roof to cover the car, like a carport. And then these walls here, obviously we need to fill them in with either window frames or walls. And then let's see the front of the house. Nothing really. We could try to make some bushes. I don't really know how that would work. Yeah, we could do like really weird bushes of some sort uh, just for some landscaping. Front porch, we're going to add some railings and then maybe a little light. And then inside, we're going to add some nice looking stuff. We're going to have like a little storage here. I've seen a lot of people who've actually built this space have storage under the stairs. And I think that's pretty creative. And then up here, we're going to have some furniture, maybe decorated a bit more with some additional blueprints. We're going to have a railing that wraps around here like so. We're going to fill in the windows with some window frames. And then we're just going to furnish this first floor with probably a kitchen, a bathroom, and a living room. And then the top floor, I don't know, we could... Probably not even fit a bed. We can make a custom bed. How about that? But that is it, everyone. Have a fantastic day. Be sure to subscribe if you want more content from Lumber Tycoon 2 and other games. Because we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And I would really appreciate it if we could hit it this year. But that is it. Oh, no. That is it, everyone. Have a great day. Subscribe. And goodbye.